of ocean, all that in adventure. This is going to be a fantastic webinar because we're going to cover a lot of stuff today, guys. Um, so, so the first thing I want to get over here is kind of my journey into the digital world. Besides practicing for the last 16 years, we're to focus on removal and fix implant support of prosthesis and going through all the fellowships, the masterships, is for the last five years, this has been a very heavy emphasis, at least in my practice, with digital dentures. And we have been incorporating everything from conventional to same day implant supported prosthesis. And I bring a very unique perspective with the iBotion in that from the very launch of the iBotion about four years ago, I've seen both the clinic and laboratory side of the iBotion product. And that's because my practice has the clinic and the laboratory side. Um, I want to give myself a small kudos in fact that we were the first practice in Texas to offer the iBotion solution to patients. And so, one of the main reasons why I really am impressed with this product because in doing this for the past 16 years, I was needing something more special. So my approach to digital dentures was that I needed something more predictable, easily reproducible, accessible, cost-effective, and future-proof. So let's see how the iVotion fits all of those criteria. So let's start with misconceptions about digital dentures. A lot of uh, docs and, and maybe including the staff would think that digital dentures can solve all denture problems. That's not true. Other misconceptions might be digital dentures are no different than in traditional dentures. Not, not true either. Docs also think that this is a foolproof bullet and you can now can start skipping clinical steps. Worst case scenario, they even start thinking that these cases can be completely done by the dental assistant. And there's no more need for any conventional impressions or records. We still are going to need conventional records for a lot of these cases. Uh, however, there are some situations and criteria that's involved if you're going to scan. And there are situations where you can scan and do conventional um, records. But for the most part, we're going to basically cover how you can get into the iVotion without having to change anything um, different in your practice. So what are digital dentures? Why iVotion? Let's review the types of analog dentures and digital dentures. You know, we're all familiar with the flask and pack um, compression type technique. Very labor intensive. A lot of skill is acquired in this technique. We also have the cold care or pour technique, which still is still required in this. And at one point or another, there was some light cure dentures going on, not as popular as the cold cure. Then we have the eyebrow base, which is got some technology involved. It's, it's controlling the heat process and the curing of the acrylic, the injection technique. Now we also have in this new age of printed dentures. Printed dentures, for the most part, can be subdivided into SLA, DLP, and masked SLA printing technology. And just by looking at these three pictures here, 
you cannot tell what the difference is. So let's dive deep. Laser versus uh, fossil fuels are quite different. So it's difficult to compare by numerical specifications alone. So this is just kind of hit the hot spots of what the differences are. A laser SLA is slower print times, but it gives you better optimal resolution and surface finish. You have large build tables, and it can be used since it's independent of build volume. Okay, the DLP SLA faster print times, but a smaller build table is needed to reduce trade-offs and distortion the resolution and surface finish. Okay, it's more like a projector at this point. The MSLA, okay, which is basically the mask SLA, is faster. You get larger build table, okay. The trade-offs is there's no control in the resolution and the surface finish. The light from the LED array cannot undergo any optical correction. The LCD photo mask is set. And so what does this really mean? Depending on the technology selected would depend on the speed, production, resolution, surface finish, and post-process time of the printed denture. So as we see here, the comparison between the print and the mill denture, what should I say, the earlier mill dentures, it still is done, but this is showing where you can add carded teeth to the base. And then the print denture, you basically would add the print teeth to the base. There's pros and cons to this, especially with carded teeth that can pop off from the base. So as you move forward to the avulsion, we are now able to not only mill the entire arch of teeth and add to the base, giving it additional strength, we now can literally mill the teeth and the base in one puck, giving it the ultimate strength and predictability when it comes to uh, prosthetics. So, why of ocean? Let's go through all of her elegance and bronze. The Avocian denture is a one disc, one million, one denture process. It has a fantastic design software that seamlessly incorporates into the final product. The Avocian is a monolithic digital denture that is made of high quality polymethylmethacrylate material for long lasting removable dentures. It comes in various shades to BL3, the A3 and a half. It even has the gingerbread shades such as Preference, Pink V, and others. Now, looking at this slide here, it's a very amazing um, technology where it is a seamless blend from the tooth and the gingiva shades. And this is a, a high cross link uh, polymethylate material. And there's a patent design with the shell geometry, which matches seamlessly with the software. And so this shell geometry is what is defining the transition between the tooth shade and the gingival shade. So with the abotion, the CAD CAM process, uh, as we see here, it has this very unique blue ribbon. This ribbon corresponds to the shell geometry found in the abotion puck. And this how it demarcates the tooth from the pink genuva. You can adjust the positions 
You can do the morphing. For example, if you patient has an idea that they want something that they had with the natural teeth, it can be done in the ocean. And so this unique shell geometry allows for very natural appearance for the prosthetic. This is straight from the mill with a polish. This is the advantage of the CAM 5 output that I was describing earlier. It's just a detail in this that's repeatable, which is a big advantage if you need to remake it, if the patient loses it, but primarily from the day one, it has an unbelievable aesthetic approach that patients just love. What is very unique also about the out of ocean is that with their mills, there's an exclusive CAM5 output format. What does that mean? This is like a ramped up uh, STL, which is specific to Ivoclar's products. What does that mean? It's going to increase the efficiency uh, in the lab, such as the morphology recognition, searching direction, or the milling, recognition of restoration types, and then the strategy that's going to be in the mill. And I also want to add on here, it's not on here, but clinical aesthetics. Um, some of the things that this machine can do through this CAM5 output makes it reproducible if you have to have this product again in the future, such as a lost denture, the, um, the dog got to the denture. You can get the same aesthetics, it's repeatable. Whereas with humans, it may not be the same. So this CAM file output is, is a tremendous benefit for replacing the product or from the very first product from the aesthetics. So as we see here, the Ocean Pup basically uh, three steps. Once it's milled, it comes out and it's going to be uh, processed and finished down. Some of the concerns that, patient, uh, that dentists have and patients is how is it going to look? How are the aesthetics? We all have a certain preference when it comes to aesthetics and what we're kind of used to for our patients. And patients have high aesthetic demands. They don't want people to think they have a denture. They want it to look very natural. So in this slide, I challenge you to see if you can tell the difference between carded teeth that you used to and the milk teeth. Well, there you go. There is no difference. If anything, it might be slightly better. But there is no difference that you're going to experience from the carded teeth to the male teeth. So you're not going to lose out on all the special um, like veneers that you've been used to as far as the tooth library. Now there are some limitations with Alvotion, but this is why they call it the Alvotion system just not the Alvotion puck. The entire Alvotion system has a one-piece to a two-piece, which is called oversized milling, to compensate for unique anatomy considerations such as closed verticals, high palatal bolts, such as, in this case here, a high palatal bolt. Um, this is not going to mill more likely on a one-piece pup. So the oversized process is going to incorporate both a gingiva base and a tooth-colored disc. There are two variations, a Bosch and Dent, a Bosch and Dent Malta. It does use an Ibotion bond. 
This bond is extremely strong. From my experience today, teeth do not break off once it's bonded. So the oversized process is five steps. We got the base, we got the teeth, and in step three, as you see, this is the, the point where we're going to use the avocian bond. Once that's bonded through the CAM5 process, it remembers that pup, and it knows that you added those teeth to the base. Goes back in the mill, it knows this, and it will find mill the base and the teeth together. When it's finished milling, it's going to look like a one-piece denture. That is awesome. It looks really beautiful. You, I can't tell the difference, and I've been um, working with this product for the last four years. Now, going to the brawn of this product, this is another amazing point here. We're going to do a fracture-resistant test. Here we have the outer base, which everyone knows about. It's a very, very strong denture through the injection uh, technique. We have the temporary PMMA material, which is used in, say, all X cases where we need the strength to make sure that our occlusal scheme and phonetics and aesthetics matches what the patient can use. And then we have the beautiful Alvotion, which has the aesthetics and the strength. So when you compare three products, two of them that are well known, to with the Alvotion, you see that the Alvotion comes out the strongest. That's saying a lot. That's, that's saying a lot, especially against that. Uh, temporary PMA material. We've all been asking for that. Can we get a stronger material? That's a denture like this one, but has the aesthetics. In other words, has the pink gingival um, color to it. So the other unique aspect about Alvotion is there's less bacteria growth, making this a more or hygienic prosthetic for our patients. And so whether it's polished or unpolished compared to the outer base or the Lucitone material, which is digital, print material, it comes out on top. So if we're looking for something for long-lasting prosthetic that's more hygienic for our patients, this is a very good product. To summarize the Abotion System Portfolio, let's take a look at the materials, the instruments, hardware, software, and the tooth libraries. I want to start by saying the instruments and hardware, you do not have to change what you are doing. This is just an additional aspect in the portfolio if you decide to go this route down the road. It just adds on an additional layer of specification and accuracy to the system, but you don't have to do it, okay? The whole point of showing uh, the Abotion product is you don't have to do anything different and still benefit from this wonderful product, but this is just there if you decide to go that route down the road. The materials, the Avotion, Avotion Dent, Avotion Dent Multi, the Avotion Base, and the Avotion Bond Kit, including the Pro Arcad Try-In, is all incorporated in this wonderful system. The two libraries, your Fournaires, your Orthotype, your Blue Line, is all incorporated into this system. So you won't lose anything that you're used to as far as aesthetics, 
what you need for your patients. Let's compare Alvotion versus print and analog. So when we compare analog, injection, print, and Alvotion, let's take a deeper look. As far as the predictability, the Alvotion comes out on top. Primarily the aesthetics, even though the print does look good, the strength is not comparable. Super strong. There is zero shrinkage. So the fit is superior, even though the print also has great fit as well. Even the injection has a fantastic fit as well, but it still has shrinkage in the injection. The analog is all over the place. It's very variable. Looking at how easily we can reproduce these four techniques, of course, the analog and injection, a lot of variables. Whereas the print and the, and the Alvotion has good accessibility. So the Alvotion, contact row. Getting to the cost effectiveness. For all of these, there is no startup cost. But I definitely, definitely, definitely want to stress the fact that this is how this has transformed my practice. Okay, is the minimum chair side post op visits. I can't stress it enough. This is what to me makes it so exciting is because. Later on in the webinar, I'm going to go over how does we impact your practice, but this is an extreme importance and it's amazing what it's going to do for your practice. And lastly, the future proof, it, you know, the first two, they're not, but you have to restart all over the records for your analog and your injection techniques, whereas the print and elevation. You are going to have digital records, but everything that is highlighted in yellow is what makes the Alvotion stand out. Aesthetics, strength, zero shrinkage, a great fit, long lasting, stain and microflora resistance. Since we are dentists, we are definitely striving to improve the oral health or hygiene of our patients. I think that's a big plus also. Has a seamless workflow. You contact row to get access to that motion. Here's a big one here. The minimal chair staff post op visits, which we're going to uh, hit home later on in the webinar. And there is a digital storage of records or the prosthesis. So it's future proof. So why Alvotion? Because it fits all five criteria. And then being predictable, you're going to get great aesthetics, guys. You're going to have the strength. You're going to have the fit. It's going to last a long time. It's the most hygienic prosthetic you can put in someone's mouth that's a polymethylmethacolate material. As far as the workflow, it's seamless. When you send in your records and your prescription to row, it's going to be seamless. Everything is going to fit in that software so that your patient gets the best result. Easy accessible. Row Lab has a good reputation. Avatar has a great reputation with the products. Cost effectiveness. I can't stress this enough. This post op, this post op visits. When you see it go away in your practice, you're gonna be smiling ear to ear. Not only because it's helping you grow, but you know that your patients are uh, taken care of. And lastly, future proof digital storage. You can't beat that. There's nothing like 
this also goes with the post op visits in that if they do lose something or it breaks, that's also saving you time. Because now you don't have to redo anything. You just call up Rose and say, hey, I need another one. What what better way to service your patients? This is a fantastic um, product. So in this diagram here, it's shown the indications for Alvotion. Everything from complete dentures, the immediate dentures, you even have your overdenture, your tissue implant supported dentures. You have your all on X cases that are fixed. You even have your partial dentures and your single dentures. Let's go through and see what this looks like in practicality in real life. If you have a patient that is consistently breaking their dentures, avotion is definitely a fantastic indication. Here we have a patient that was wearing to the left here a conventional denture where he was constantly breaking it. To the right, we are showing the avotion upper and lower dentures. The aesthetics are fantastic. In this slide, we see the overdenture, the tissue implant supported prosthetic for the lower, and has a conventional Ibosha denture in the maxilla. As you see, this is the oversized milling process that I did myself in my lab because his unique anatomy would not fit on the one piece puck. This denture is nearly four years old with zero problems. This case here is showing a patient who will be transitioning out of this partial probably to a full denture, either an over denture, but for now he's in a partial. He did not want to have any clasp. Once again, this denture has been in service for almost three years with no problems. I love this case here. This is a tremendous transformation for this patient. As you can see, this is going to be an immediate denture case. So the first two slides, actually the first three slides, I'm sorry, are the day of the surgery. This last slide here is a year and a half late. Fantastic. Minimum post-op visits that you normally would expect from an immediate denture patient. But this is a one piece of ocean of, that you're seeing right here. Another immediate denture case as a single arch. This patient here has a unique history uh, and the fact that she was dealing with a lot of emotional issues. She was wearing this partial denture that was in three pieces that she was blowing together. This is showing that I did conventional impressions, a wax up. This was scanned in my lab. I sent this out for design, which they followed my wax up. And beautiful. This is a one piece immediate single arc of ocean denture delivered that day. We have another scenario where we have an immediate implant over denture. Not only are we replacing the lower, we also replace this upper denture. Um, the extractions were completed. The dentures already made that day, but it was a wash impression pickup technique finish down in the lab, and deliver it back to the patient. Once again, a upper and lower abotion denture. I love this case. 
and this just is going to show you just how realistic this product is. And so with this patient, he has a all in X zirconia implant supported prosthetic for the mandible. And it's maxilla. It is a conventional ocean denture. The shade match between the two materials is so similar. It's incredible. This gives you another perspective in how you can have your patients in meeting the aesthetics and the strength that they desire and demand nowadays. This is a beautiful case. So if you were wondering just how good does this product look compared to zirconia, well, there's your answer. Some other fantastic indications for abortion is if you are into doing same day teeth or want to get involved with that, this is the perfect material. One of the things when you're doing same day teeth, is it going to break? How soon is it going to break? Is it going to look very aesthetic? How are you going to make that particular prosthetic match what you place with the implants? Roe has a fantastic system. You can call it, ask them about it. Uh, it's a chrome lock system. This is the, this picture here is showing the, um, the pickup. Okay. This picture here is showing how we're looting this pickup so that we can make the fix temporary. We we'll also have an indication for same day teeth. It is the perfect long term provisional in this situation. Not only is it strong, but it's extremely hygienic. And this is one of the the predictability that we were talking about earlier is when you have patients that are wearing this, long-term provisionals, there's no metal substructure in this. You need to be strong, you need to be aesthetic, and it is a tremendous plus that is hygienic because it's going to make sure that everything stays in a healthy state in the mouth. Uh, fantastic. This case is uh, going on 10 months now. You can also use Avotion as a definitive hybrid prosthetic. Just for the very reason we had covered earlier, not just for the strength, because we are going to add a metal substructure on this, but also with the oral hygiene. It's very hygienic, very bacteria resistant. And that's what you need in a product when you're going to have it in there in the mouth for a very long time. Here is another fantastic way to use Avotion. For example, we have a case where the patient's on a candidate for same-day teeth, then on a candidate for same-day loading. It could be a situation where you have to graft first, then add the implants or you're adding implants and grafting simultaneously, but the implants are not going to get the load value that you need. The abortion is not a waste as the temporary conventional immediate denture. What we're showing here is they're using that same design, that matrix, to help design the final zirconia case. This is a case of my own. This is, that's actually what I did. I just made, I printed out the Avotion, scanned it back in, and it gave me my try-in for my zirconia. So finally, how do we incorporate the Avotion into your practice? You can do exactly what you have been doing as you were trained to do. Take your records. 
when you send these to row, they're going to treat your records the same way they've been treating them, but now they're going to incorporate it into the iMotion system. So you don't have to change anything. You don't have to learn anything new. You can keep doing what you've been doing so well at this time. Here we go. You call up row. That's how you're going to get access um, to this product. There were no expenses involved. Zero. However, you could take some courses to improve your removal techniques so that the outcome is even better. Just a interesting fact is that just by using this product, going through your conventional records, the dentures automatically going to fit four times better just by going through this process. And so if you're doing great records, it's going to be amazing, guys. It's going to be amazing. So there's no startup costs, which minimizes any barriers to incorporate the devotion to your practice. That's a big benefit. The increased patient satisfaction through the comfort, the strength, and aesthetics. Patients are looking for this. They're, they're, they're very savvy. They will get online. They are Googling for a better denture all the time. And if you're, if you're offering this, if you're advertising this, they're going to call your office. Now, this is the point that I was talking about earlier. This is, I think, a, a tremendous benefit to your practice is decreasing the post-op appointments, opening your schedule to grow your practice, or just the balancing. You know, we we'll all strive to do 40 hours or less a week, but we're finding ourselves doing more. And one of the interesting um, perspectives on owning a practice or a practicing dentistry is surprise visits, the emergency adjustment visits, the post-op visits for adjustments when it's taking more than 30 minutes. This will kill your schedule. And, and, and this is why sometimes dentists are kind of scared to get involved with dentures is because of this very thing here is the post-op visits. A votion helps you with that 100%. It's going to minimize those visits so that you don't have to worry. Let's take a closer look at the benefits, okay? And, and, and one last point I want to make with this is the confidence that you're going to have when treating patients with dentures and implants alike. It's a wonderful thing to know that when you can tell your patient, hey, look, this product does this. It's going to give you the aesthetics. It's going to give you the fit. You don't got to worry about uh, this thing breaking on you. If you lose it, there's still no worries. You won't have to come back to all those visits for the records. And lastly, this is good for your oral health and your overall health because it's very bacterial resistant. So one of the more important benefits that you need to incorporate into your practice is the marketing of Alvotion. This is going to drive your patients to your practice because they are definitely looking for a higher tier denture, period. I can't stress this importantly enough, but the marketing aspect of the Alvotion is going to, not just by word of mouth, but also through the marketing aspect, will help drive the patients to your practice. It is going to be a tremendous aspect of your business once you start marketing this for your practice. Let's recap on the benefits of how abortion can transform your practice. On the profitability side, 
your clinical records do not have to change. What I mean by that is you don't have to go and buy special equipment to get started. So there's no initial investment needed. The second part is a beautiful thing. The adjustments of post-op visits is going to be reduced by 80 to 90%. 80 to 90%. We're going to go into some numbers what that really means. There's no startup costs. Period. You don't got to buy nothing new. You can just call up road and get abortion started in your practice. You just have to prescribe it for your patients. Reduce visits depending on the technique. If you don't wash impressions on your try-ins, it depends on what the scenario is and what you're shooting for for your patients. But there are techniques you can do to also reduce the visits and have an outstanding result for your patient. And aesthetics and fit. The other way of growing your practice, because this is a premium denture, guys. It's a premium denture. And in my opinion, that's the best denture. You, there is a fee adjustment for this denture. There is a fee adjustment that you need to incorporate into your practice. So it's not the same price as what you've been charging for the other dentures. You need to increase the fee with this. Patients will pay this, okay? Feel comfortable in charging more. Would you charge more? Up to you, but it's definitely a premium denture. I want to take the time to go back over the post-op visits. It's just that important. And if we go through the scenario of zero chair time for remakes due to a loss or unrepairable denture, and is everything from them losing it to their dog chewing it up? Remakes take an average of three to five visits for the records. And if we average that out, it's about six hours of chair time. Chair time currently is about $800 of national average, which is the national average for dentists. So imagine saving that chair time. You don't have to even do it. It's about almost five thousand dollars because you're not wasting that time and having to do it again, but you get to charge for that denture again. They lost it. There is a fee for service here. The convenience of being able to have that denture ready on hand and roll give it back to you within a day or two is amazing. The downtime the patient has to be without teeth. Is minimal. If we look at this, if you have one patient, which I know you have more than one, that walked in saying they lost a denture or something happened to their denture and you can't repair it, there's one patient a month. That would equivalent to somewhere around sixty thousand dollars in production and chair time. Just one person a month doing nothing different. Let's go over post-op adjustment visits. So once again, we know that the national average chair time is $800 an hour. There's on average three to five visits in a three-month period. Each visit is about an hour long. So let's chair time. So if, if, if we went on an average patient in, in a three month period, $3,200. So let's take a bigger number. Let's take 40 patients over a year. It's going to cost a practice to lose um, $128,000 of productive chair time every year. That's someone's salary 
or two people salaries every year because of post op visits. If we were to reduce that by 80%, the loss would only be 25000 a year. In other words, what can you do with it on average every quarter by 25000 or on a yearly basis over $100,000? What can you do with that cost? That it not being lost. The chair time, what can you do with that? If you can use an additional hundred thousand dollars in your pocket every year when doing nothing different but just prescribing the emotion, that's pretty amazing. Um and remember this is in addition to opening chair time for new production. So this is on top of that. Okay? This is on top if you if you decide I want to make more production because my practice is now growing and not have more open chair time. Now you have it. 